Monday Moment. My name is Beth Smith, and I am a member of Pastoral Care at the Salem Baptist Church of Chicago. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to start with a greeting to our Lord in prayer. Dear most gracious Father, Lord, we come to you giving you honor, thanks, praise, and glory for being so good to us. You woke us up this morning. You had guided us on our way, and we want to give you thanks, and we want to honor you in all that you do. We ask that you be with us through this encouragement and this inspirational moment on this Monday morning. We lift this up to you in the name of our son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you today on the attitude that we are to have how God blesses us. God is so wonderful and great to us. It is a joy and a great gift to know how good God is to us. One of the verses that has been inspiring me for the past few months is from Philippians 4 and 8, which tells us, finally, my friends, Keep your minds on whatever is true, whatever is pure, right, holy, friendly, and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. Giving God praise in all that we do and all of his worthiness, knowing that we are going to be faced with problems and circumstances really has us at a bind where sometimes we forget who is in charge of our lives. God is always in charge of our lives. He inspires us. He gives us all the things that we need if we ask for it. We can go to God in prayer at any time, anywhere we are, knowing that all good things come from him. God keeps his promises to us. He continues to bless us, strengthen us, and help us in all of our times of need. There have been times where I have been challenged with knowing that God is right there for me, but then the enemy gets into my spirit and having me to doubt that I need to figure things out for myself. That's where I mess up and that's where I'm wrong. And I know sometimes some of us do the same things, but to know that we have faith and trust in God, to know that whatsoever things that are pure, things that are true, lovely, and right, all comes from God. God inspires us. He helps us to know that we can depend on him, to have faith and trust in him. Our attitude should be gratefulness to God to know that he has been so wonderful and good to us. Who woke you up this morning? God. Who gave you food to eat? God. Who allowed you to be safe while you slept over the night? God. All we need to do is think about how good and great God is, how true he is to his word, how lovely he is and pure to all the things that happens to us in our life. No matter what our circumstances are, my friends, trust God. Have faith in him. He'll carry you through. If you're going through struggles with healing and trying to find a way to know how you can get past some struggles that you're going through, whether it be financial, whether it be a job, whether it be a relationship with a family member or friends, know that God is there for you. He never leaves us. We are never alone without him. God encourages our spirit to know that we can trust and believe in here. All good things come together for him, for the good, because that's the purpose of those who have been called by him. Romans tells us that. There are a lot of great scriptures in the Bible that can give us guidance and strength and knowing how wonderful God is to us. God inspires us to continue to study his word. His word encourages us to be strong and to know how good he is to us. We are not alone. He never fails us. We can lose faith because sometimes we have doubt depending on the circumstances that we are faced and we forget that God is right there on the throne waiting for us to call upon his name, to cast every single care that we have for him. So friends, remember that God is there for you. 
He is your light in the middle of a storm. He is your guidance, your star that you can follow and know that there is no way that you can go wrong without him. Jesus intercedes in prayer for us. He is good. He is wonderful. He sacrificed his life for us. He gave his life for all of our sins. What can we not even give gratitude and thankfulness for knowing how good God has been to us? We can glorify him, worship him, and give him praise and honor and glory. Oh, how wonderful it is to say the name of Jesus and knowing that Jesus has been that person who has kept the beating in our heart, who has healed us from all things that come upon us. God didn't say we would not suffer while we live on earth. God didn't say we'd not shed tears of, of sadness. God did not say there would not be any circumstances that we can't face. But knowing that when we can depend on him and call on the name of Jesus and knowing that God is our strength and our strong tower and he is the rock of our salvation, we can make it through anything. Oh, Jesus, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are true and lovely. How can we not praise God and thank him for all that goodness? How can we not think on the things of virtue? How can we not think on the things of praise about how great and good God is to us? God is wonderful. And friends, today I remind you to remember to know God has been there for you and always be there for you. God looks beyond your faults and he sees your needs. He will supply you with every single thing that you need from him. All you have to do is trust. All you have to do is have faith. All you have to do is remember how things are wonderful, how things are honest, how things are great, good, and pure, and lovely coming from the Lord. All those things are so precious and good. That's how great God is to us. And my friends, I want to leave with you words today to let you know, to remember those things. Think about those things. Every time you are facing trials and tribulations, know within your heart and your spirit how good God is to you. I want to say a prayer and leave some words with you before we conclude for today. Dear Father God, Lord, bless all of our friends who are listening today. Lord, touch them in their lives. Help them to become stronger with faith and let them not have any doubt knowing that they can trust you no matter what problems that they are facing and what struggles that they are going to. Allow them to know that you are there in their presence, oh Lord. Let them know, Father, that everything about you is true. Everything about you is honest. Everything about you is pure. Everything about you is just. Everything about you is lovely. All we have to do is think on the virtue of those things. And all we have to do is know that we can give you all honor and praise for all that you are going to do, how you're going to bless us, and how we are grateful for all the good things that you will do for us on this Monday morning. Lord, we ask this prayer in your son Jesus' name. We pray, amen. My friends, until we meet again, I ask that you remember those great things and how wonderful and good God has been to you in your life. Until we see each other again, bless you.